In the previous examples, we always started from uh, Unreal Engine and brought data to Maya and then back to Unreal Engine for all the static meshes and sequences and cameras and so on. So that's the recommended workflow. And in many cases, like for instance, for cameras and sequences, obviously you need to start always from Unreal. You cannot create a camera inside Maya and then bring it to your sequencer. But what you can do is create static meshes. This is something that is possible. So in order to do that, basically I have created here this uh, cupboard. So when we create a new object, we need to apply this UE gear tag uh, to the selected nodes. So it's going to create some metadata. And then it's going to um, later add more metadata when we export it. So in this case, I already exported one before just to test. And now I'm just going to export again. So you see here the metadata is already created on this uh, cutboard. So I'm just going to export selected asset to Unreal. So it's going to pop up the uh, this uh, window here where he will ask you to uh, set a folder on your current uh, project. In this case, it's UGR demo project in content. So I'm just going to select here the folder. And now if we go back to Unreal, we can see that it's already here, the static mesh. So we just need to drag and drop it and obviously just uh, reset the transform. So it's going to match your layout here. So basically, if you need a placeholder or something quickly while you're doing the animation and then you're going to replace it, you can do it this way. Okay, so that's it for this part. Bye.